This is the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, technology you want, yield you can count on. I'm Chad Colby, agriculture advocate for UAV Flight I'm with UAP and FMC doing grower meetings around Ontario this week and oh man, what an exciting time to, to be in agriculture with a lot of great new technology. So basically one of the leading newest, hottest topics in agriculture right now is the use of unmanned systems. Yeah, it's a touchy subject in the United States. Here in Canada the policy is a little bit further along as most of you know. But one of the exciting things about this technology is this, is it lets a grower really see his operation in ways he's never seen before. And, and I truly mean that. You know, being born and raised on a farm, we've all seen a lot of great technologies come to us. From the big things, right, like cell phones when they came, that was a big deal, okay, to tablets. You know, I, I tell groups all the time, you know, our tablets are going to be five years old in April. Think about that. Think about how far that's come in just five years. And I would challenge growers that unmanned systems is going to make tablets seem mild what we can do with this technology in the future. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great technology. It's usable. It, it works. But uh, right now, it's, it's, this is still the, the, the frontier, right? We're not even the 5% level yet. So great opportunity to talk to growers in Canada, and it's been, it's been a great week. So when you talk about unmanned systems, I like to categorize it like this. The ships, if I was, if I was a school teacher, I would tell you the ships are really good. They're, they're very high quality. You know, whether it's a Phantom quadcopter like this, which is, which is a very good ship. It works great. Very robust. It works fine. But the ships is what gets us excited when you're new to this. As you, as you get used to this, I will tell you that the ships are kind of the old news. What I'm most concerned about are, are the sensor technologies that exist. You know, what type of sensors, what images are we taking, that type of thing. The other challenge that's even bigger, quite frankly, is the data processing. There's some new technologies out there now in 2015 where we'll actually have the ability to take a winged platform, fly back and forth across your field, and during that time, actually be uploading the photos to the cloud, and after 10 or 15 minutes on the ground, you have an NDVI image on your tablet. Oh, that's a big deal. Uh, Ag Eagles, the wing platform that I use, it has that. The technology is called Drone Deploy. Um, so it's exciting. It really is. This sensor I have now, this is uh, a sensor from a company in Seattle called MicaSense. Um, MicaSense is new because it's, it's, a, it's, it's finally a sensor designed for a UAV. And where a year ago these sensors would be twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars. Well now we got a sensor under ten grand. I'm getting interested. You know, and not to bore you on technology, but the GoPros that are that have been around the industry for a long, long time, we're actually now putting different lenses in them. <laughs> So the camera technology is like any other technology. It's the race to zero. So where the cameras 10 years ago were three grand and now they're $200 and now they're 50 bucks, it's kind of the same thing. And you can see this camera right here as I hold it up. The camera operator, you might want to zoom in on that a little bit. I'll try to stay really still. What you can see on that lens is, is, is that lens has been changed. And that's some pretty exciting technology as well. So. 2015, guys, is going to be a lot of fun. I mean, we're really going to make some really strong progress and really try to do, you know, do better, be better stewards of our land. I mean, I think we all know, you know, over the next several years, not only do we need to increase our yields, but we're, we have to do it with less fertilizer and less seeding, all those things. So one of the things I, I think as we move forward with technology, there's some tremendous hurdles. If, if you haven't been in a tractor cab during planting or a combine during harvest, you quickly understand gone are the days that your brother-in-law or your brother comes out to help you for the weekend and jumps in the combine or tractor because they're too sophisticated, right? We got different monitors, now we're doing variable rate seating, we're doing all kinds of stuff. It's very complex. Well, what that challenge does is it makes the actual farmer's time his most valuable asset every day. You know, growing up on a kid, my grandpa told me, and I fought him on this for quite a while, my grandpa told me all I had to do was work half a day. And it, did, it doesn't matter what half either, guys. 
So that being said, when, it, when the grower wakes up in the morning and, and he's got his day to go, now the option exists like this. You're wondering about the Johnson 160. You pull your pickup truck to the edge of the field. You grab your Pelican case that has something like that in it. You go through the pre-flight, takes maybe five minutes, maybe eight tops. You pop up under the legal limit, three, four hundred feet. You take six or eight high resolution photos. You land, you put it in the case. You put the photos right on your tablet in a matter of minutes. You look at that 160 and you go, you know what, that looks fine. Or you go, oh, what do I have? Was there a weather event? Do I have an insect problem? Do I have a tile bro? I could go, guys, I could go on and on and on. Then you, act, then you take action. You call your agronomist, you put your boots on the ground, you go do it. You get your seed advisor, you, you do all those things. And it's, it's about saving time. And, and you can do that in a matter of 10 minutes. And, and that's, that's what this brings to the grower. Um, NDVI thermal imaging has been around for 30 years. It's not new, but what's new is this. If I can fly over my field, get that data soon, soon meaning a half an hour, now I can make some decisions. Today, that, that time frame could be as long as five or six days. That doesn't cut it. I know guys that have been doing NDVI for six or seven years, spending eight or 10 bucks an acre. You know what they tell me? They tell me this. Well, Chad, that NDVI map I shot June 5th looks exactly like my yield map. It's too late to do anything about it. So it's, it's an amazing time to be in agriculture right now. And I think we're just kind of on the frontier of what this new technology is going to do for all of us, truly all of us. So it's, uh, it's hard not to be really excited about this in agriculture right now. This has been the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, great seed, great people. Harvest the difference with Mazex.